You and the Westdale. It's quite the story. Folks watching movies right here since 1935, with the good times rolling up to 2017, when the grand old lady was almost torn down. But thanks to fundraising, it was saved by a group of community volunteers, folks like you. And now, the Westdale's a showpiece, a not-for-profit charitable organization restored to its full glory and heritage designated to boot. Cool. So then right from this very seat, you could check out way more than just great movies. There's all kinds of arts and culture, music, uh, talks, uh, performances, and of course, popcorn. But like in all good stories, there's an unexpected twist. 2020 hits and bam, the new normal, with stages going dark all over the world. Uh, oh, thank, thank you. Now it doesn't take a PhD in accounting to know, no lights, no camera, no cash. Which means we need a little help from our friends to keep on keeping on. So if you can donate a little or a lot, it sure would help us keep the lights on, making you one of the heroes of this story. Stay tuned for the next chapter in the West Down. Hey folks, welcome to Hamilton Originals. We got Wayne Krawchuk tonight. Have a listen. I am so deep in the water. I am halfway across the river. I am so deep in the water. Help me make it to the other side mm -hmm. Whoa, look at me mama I am showing all the signs Of a man in need of being saved From sinking out of sight When I look into the mirror I don't know the face I see There's a dark cloud hanging in my head there's a shadow inside me I am so deep in the water I am halfway across the river I am so deep in the water Help me make it to the other side mm -hmm. I want to rise up you like Lazarus I want to waste this life no more I want to know the love that some speak of Walk through that Midnight's close at hand Wanna find my way to the light of day I can make myself whole again I am so deep in the water I am halfway across the river I am so deep in the water Help me make it to the other side I am so deep in the water I am halfway across the river I am so deep in the water Help me make it to the other side I am so deep in the water I am halfway across the river I am so deep in the water Help me make it to the other side Help me make it to the other side Help me make it to the other side mm -hmm.
Nice one, Wayne. Wayne Krawchuk, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for joining us on a Monday night here at the Westdale. We are so happy to be here because we're musicians that can't play anywhere else. So we're, <laughs> we're glad to be here, aren't we, fellas? Absolutely. And we're also, as you folks know, we're trying to raise a little money for the Westdale. So if you can dig deep into your pocket and uh, make a donation, you just hit that donate button there and we, we'd sure love you. But regardless, feel free to just watch the show because we're having a lot of fun here. Now, Wayne, you brought a few guests here tonight. Maybe you can... I did. Yeah. Who, who, sure. who we got? Well, um, right behind me on bass is Michael Hickey. <laughs> Hello. And uh, very happy to have him here this evening. And Ron Cole, who uh, people may recognize from last week if they tuned in. <laughs> yeah. Two weeks in a row. Um, yeah. Deja vu. <laughs> Two tonight weeks in he's a row. playing accordion. I think last week it was uh, yeah. your keyboard. Yeah. Yeah, so. that's right. He's moving up, moving <laughs> up to the accordion. All right, well, that's great. Now, before we play another song, maybe you can give us a little um, little history on the Wayne Krawchuk story. Mm. Like, how did you get started in this whole biz? In the biz? Well, I think the, uh, the absolutely first professional gig that I had was, uh, which basically means I got paid, um, <laughs> um, a friend of mine, Weldon McLean, and I, uh, we were doing a duo, and the first gig that we got was at the Air Force Club in Dundas on Ladies' Dart Night. Oh, mm -hmm. Ladies' Dart Night. <laughs> and you really had to be careful ducking those darts all the time. Um, yeah, we played for Ladies' Dart Night, and I guess it went well because they hired us back several times. So. Oh, for more Ladies' Dart Night. <laughs> it was always Ladies' Dart Night. You yeah. like a moving target. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky the wife wasn't around when yeah. that was going. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey. All right, well, that's good. Um, how about another song? Uh, I think um, we got uh, a couple of songs from your first album maybe you could do. We're right. going to get into that. Uh, Wayne's first album was, when was that released? Twenty. It was uh, 2006. It doesn't seem that that far back, but yeah, it was 2006. 2006, uh, Smile for the Camera. Smile for the Camera, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, what a great album too. You guys ought to check it out. It's, uh, it's on Spotify, I believe. Uh, that one, that one I haven't got up there yet. Okay, uh, but it's the new album's up soon. there. Okay, yeah, the soon enough. Uh, you could always buy it, but <laughs> you could. yeah. Uh, Brian Torsini, I believe, did the uh, cover for that. Didn't he, he did. He uh, yeah. coordinated all the artwork. Uh, great friend, and uh, had you know some of uh, there's so many good musicians in Hamilton as as we all know, and and uh, um, so I had uh, some great people playing on it, and uh, nice. Yeah, it was wonderful. Smile for the camera. So let's do a couple of songs from that. Okay. Uh, this is called One Small Kindness. And uh, just about, it doesn't take much to make somebody's day sometimes, you know. So this That's is right. what that, this song is about. Nice. One small kindness That caught me by surprise one day One small kindness It chased my blues away Sitting with my misery It jumped out and interrupted me One small kindness I carried it around with me One small kindness but it wasn't really mine to keep I heard a voice inside me say Just give it up and give it away Give it up and give it away Give it up Give it away Hey, yeah, yeah. 
every little thing you do is coming right back home to live with you. Yes. Every little thing you say is gonna find you on some other day. Hey, one small kindness. What a place for it to find A one small kindness Opened up this selfish heart of mine Drop a pebble in a pond Watch the ripples roll out and on Rolling out and on Rolling out and on and on and on yeah. Give it up, or give it away Give it up, give it away Hey, hey, hey Give it up, give it away Very nice. One small kindness, Wayne Crawchuck. Um, yeah, let's do another one there. off that same same album. <coughs> sure. I know, uh, you know, you and I go way back to when, uh, I don't know, the late 80s or the 90s or something. Um, yeah, and actually before, because I, I'd come down and uh, sing some jingles now and then. That's right, at Grand Avenue. That's right. That was the early 80s. Kelly okay. Lake Building Supplies. I remember it still, the first one, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's not get into Jingle no. Night here. Okay, no jingles. <laughs> That's another time. Mm -hmm. But I remember, uh, I especially loved this song that, that w I think it was the first one I heard that you wrote. Um, so I'd like to, uh, maybe we should do that now. It's called Charlotte's Blue Eyed Daughter. Yes. Yeah, I love that song. Great. Give this a listen, folks. You'll like it too, I think. Standing barefoot in the sand Warm wind round her shoulders Counting seashells she holds in her hand Charlotte's blue-eyed daughter She can tell things from the dream she has She gets that from her mother She stole my heart so many years ago Charlotte's blue-eyed daughter sailor in the war and the sound of wind and water echoed in her dreams 
like a siren song for Charlotte's blue-eyed daughter. The surf washes up like jewels around her feet, an offering for the princess by the water. She jumps back laughing, and nothing sounds as sweet. Charlotte's blue-eyed daughter She standing barefoot in the sand Staring out across the water Once upon a time so long ago Charlotte's blue-eyed daughter Charlotte's blue-eyed daughter So sweet. Thank you. Thank yeah, it's very Thanks, oh, we got a got a little applause back <laughs> there. It's nice to have a little applause. A little applause. <laughs> Just so you folks know, there's only like eight of us in here tonight. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of us. Whoa. So uh, yeah, we're still legal, I think. That's uh, like some of the gigs I played in the past. You know, less than that. Yeah. <laughs> in clubs. So what clubs. about uh, some of the players you played with? I know you played with some great players through your life, and you've had some great influences. If we go back to influences, I hear some Willie P, um, For sure. you know, some of the great folk uh, guys uh, you got Abs into. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one of the places I first started playing, when I started playing out and doing my own material, were, was a, a place called the Night Two Coffee House. Night which Two. was on Augusta Street, just sort of, I think it might have been Oot in a boot. Uh, there's a pub there now, um, one of those buildings, and they would, uh, you know, they'd bring in people um, in the Southern Ontario circuit often, Willie P. Bennett, Brent Titcomb, David Bradstreet, a lot of people that were uh, playing a lot in those days, and uh, I got to open sometimes for them, you know, nice. it was very nerve-wracking, of course, initially, but uh, I did get to... Um, know them and that uh, figured into my some of my future things as well actually that uh, the night to Bill and Lynn Powell Bill Powell Bill Powell. Uh, there's a name that goes way back and yeah. what a supporter of great musicians in Hamilton for sure yes. yeah yeah he, uh, he really started the festival of friends I believe right? he did yeah, yeah Bill so and Lynn yeah I think it's one of the longest running festivals out there I believe so. I, I think it's canceled this year. But uh, yeah. <laughs> but they other than are, that, think, yeah. it was on a roll for a while there. Yes. And then COVID. Mm, yeah. but, um, what about some others? I know you played a lot with Michael Berthelmer. Yes. And the Pine uh, Street Boys. Let's talk about them. For sure. Some yeah. I've been um, doing the last album. I've been out playing it um, with these two gentlemen and uh, Mike Berthelmer and Randall Hill. Uh, mandolin banjo player uh, extraordinary excellent yep. he's very very oh, good yeah. and uh, we call ourselves the Pine Street gentlemen I, I think we were changing the name a little bit <laughs> every time we played but we stuck with that and Mike uh, Berthelmer has a studio called Pine Street studio and uh, a lot of people you know have re recorded there and uh, he has a line on a lot of great players and um, so it's it's Real great. If if anybody just to plug Mike's studio for a moment, uh, you know you're looking to record some acoustic, uh, especially acoustic stuff. He's just superb with that. Um, yeah, he's so he's good at it, and yeah. he's recorded some fab fabulous songs. So I got to get him on this show. He should. Yeah, Mike he, Berthelmer. Uh, goes yeah. back to Grand Avenue days too, and he That's had right. And, and him and his brother Bob. He used to clean the carpets. Bob, Bob <laughs> yeah. had that carpet cleaning service. Oh, that right? Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, folks. This is really important yeah. information for you out there. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you're wanting to know that. It's a close-knit group. Um, I know you also played with Brian Griffiths. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, there was um, on the uh, the last recording, Love Hop to Train, um, I had a song 
kicking around for a while, and I finally finished it, and it was uh, for Jackie Washington, who anybody, I'm sure, in Hamilton would, would remember Jackie. He's gone now, but <laughs> he was wonderful. He just made you feel so good when you, oh, uh, you saw him play. And, and his nephew, Brian, um, I was really fortunate. Brian came in when we were recording, and I said, you know, there's this song I wrote about Jackie, and uh, he heard it, and he was completely into playing on it, and he was so wonderful. He, he uh, it was great. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. So, and of course, Brian is, is gone now, and missed it dearly. Um, yeah, greatly. that's for sure. But um, there's two great ones gone. Yeah. So we, but we do this song, and it always gets a, a great response. Uh, people just because it's about Jackie. Well, Jackie, what a character. I think there's a line <laughs> in the song about how it would be like, well, I remember we were at that Halloween party at John and Sue Green's, yeah. and uh, w I don't think we even started playing until 1 o'clock. It was late. And it was like 4 in the morning, and Jackie was over in the corner playing, and we got him to play a few songs with us. And he, he, like for yeah. a guy that was in his, I think, 80s at the time. At that point, he was, like, yeah. How does he stay awake that long? I, I can't anymore. <laughs> I, I haven't even hit my 60s yet. Right. Okay. Yeah, maybe. he he was uh, he just loved to play that much. You he know, just I, loved I, to play. I saw and that same thing at, at the festival sometimes too. You know, he would be over and there'd be many things going on, and Jackie would always have this, a bunch of people around him just doing his thing. And doing his thing. God, that guy wonderful. was. And you know, he started out in Hamilton, I think, like cleaning washrooms and stuff. Just. Uh, Mm -hmm. In the 30s, I think it was. Yeah, and he worked on the trains yeah. of Porter for a little while, and and uh, yeah. But he, his family is, uh, you know, it's a musical family. It's a musical family. Hamilton's Bobby history is is, uh, you know, wouldn't be complete without the Washington Pursers. And, and the, uh, yeah. If only he was still here, he'd be the number one guy on the show. But <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, sure. instead, well, you're gonna, well, actually. Uh, you wrote a song about Jackie. Yeah. I think you just mentioned it, so yeah. let's do that one. I sure. think uh, okay. people would love to hear that one. Okay. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four. I want to have fun Like Jackie Washington had fun, I wanna get it done Like Jackie Washington got it done An original, one of a kind A diamond rare to find On a cloudy day just to hear him play it was like a ray of sunshine I wanna sing it sweet Like Jackie Washington Make you move your feet like Jackie Washington At the party when everyone else was fading There's Jackie in the corner still entertaining Anywhere was his stage It didn't matter what your age You'd be smiling Yeah Great big smile Laughing along with Jackie Washington. He was the one, the only one, the one and only one, Jackie Washington. Certified Hamilton Gold. When they made him, they surely broke the mold. And I know he's still playing Jackie Washington. Angels are dancing and swaying to Jackie Washington. Well, we never will forget the one and only you can 
bed Jackie Washington Always that laugh that he had. He always had a laugh. Eh? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know. You can't imitate that guy. He was one of a kind. Yeah. Jack Washington, brother of Bobby, and who else was there in that family? Tommy? No. Yeah. George? No, Bobby that was another guy. <laughs> Ringo, maybe. Anyway. No. Yeah, Ringo. <laughs> uh, what about some other bands that you played in? Uh, Wayne, I know yeah. you played in... Um, side street going way back right um, let's talk about that for a sec uh, i think we might even oh whoop. hey whoa hey we're we're That's going before crazy. side street yes uh, let's talk about this for a sec this sure. is taken at parkside parkside high school in dundas in front of the old band shell which is not there anymore look at the hair on that and look uh, at the hair. i played wow. french horn and it was a brass quintet and uh we would go out and do sort of community shows every now and then and um uh, nice yeah. jackets yeah pretty pretty snazzy really right you just finished paying them off yeah <laughs> that's right now that's wayne right. look look at wayne's face if you, if you can't tell wayne's in the middle the guy with the hair playing <laughs> the french horn and you look like you're deeply concentrating on maybe getting out of there no i don't know what was it um <laughs> you know at that point i was probably that was uh, I think it was grade 13, which they still had back then. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, some of the, uh, yeah. I was there. Some of the viewers might not remember grade 13. Yes, but you may not. Then, yeah. yeah. Uh, some of the guys in the, uh, a, the room. Yeah. yeah but, uh, right, so I, uh, and that was, but I played a lot of music, and, and there was, um, so that, that was great, and it got me set off on to wanting to explore music more. And in Side Street, we, um, we were sort of a five-piece uh, the core of the band was Cam McLennan, uh, Kerry Knickle, and myself, and uh, and wow. yeah, so we we did. Uh, now we had, we would do some doo-wop music, acapella stuff, and we'd do a bunch of tunes, and then we'd break into that. Um, and but we also had a uh, wonderful sax and flute player Jane Ellington, who is in Guelph, I believe, these days, still playing her sax. I think I've seen her playing with some people out there, and. Al Cross, uh, we had a few different drummers, Al but Al Cross we had for a while, Wild and this drummer. was when he was playing with uh, Jane Sibbery quite a bit, so we were really lucky to get Al, and we just had a great time, the five piece, and uh, one of the things, this picture um, was taking, uh, taken rather down in Louisiana, uh, we were part of a, an arts and music caravan that Bill and Lynn Powell set up. Uh, and we did it two years. The first year we went down uh, to the southern states, played at a couple places in Dallas and, and, and places, and then headed into Mexico um, wow. and uh, played uh, a big festival. This was in October in Guadalajara. Jeez. And I just remember uh, that around the perimeter of the stage there were federales with rifles, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's Mexico. We, they never needed at the uh, Festival of Friends. And, and, you yeah. know. and um, the second year uh, we went down to Louisiana and, and um, yeah, we did the Red River Rebel as well. And uh, we also played at the World's Fair, which was in New Orleans that year. And wow. We got to play, I remember playing on a ro rotating stage. Ooh, I so get dizzy. One band finished playing, and uh, oh, then the next one. they would be finishing their last song, and we'd start playing, and the stage would rotate, and there we were, you know. Yeah. So it was, uh, it, was a, it was a really great time, and there were a lot of wonderful artists and musicians that, that were down there. And uh, <coughs> Wow, you did some, some great cities, and what a tour. Like, I got to do Timmins and Sudbury and stuff, and... <laughs> You're doing Louisiana and Mexico. Sudbury, the New Orleans of the North, maybe. Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Wah, wah. <laughs> sure, okay. Sure. And, um, Ride now, the goose. That's you did a record, too, I think, did you or no? We did a recording. Um, we were doing some recording. Um, we were fortunate to uh, d record down at Ian Thomas's. We had some time. And he had a new <coughs> board that he had, and uh, this is in Winona. This was in Winona, yeah. yeah. And uh, it was 
the week, it, we were showing up, we were really excited, and we'd be showing up at 10 in the morning, which is, you know, early for any musician, any time. But Ian, it was during uh, the release of Strange Brew, the uh, ah, Bob and Doug McKenzie movie. Bob and Doug. So I think there were a lot of uh, events going on, late night events. And late night events. We'd show up really perky, and he would uh, try and deal with us, you know. And, <laughs> but he was great. He um, yeah. And we did five or six songs, so it was really a, a wonderful experience, yeah. Great. Well, and, and Ian's coming on, by the way. I think he's on on September uh, 21st. Mm -hmm. Ian Thomas. And I should time. mention one other band, which is the band I play in, uh, uh, the other band, the electric band I play in, called Coots Paradise. Yes. And uh, a bunch of uh, Lily Zaz and, and uh, Mark Volkoff, Ian Taylor, Amy Danino, drums, and wonderful Sue Leonard on vocals and myself. And uh, we have a... Uh, our second CD coming out this Friday, it's, it's coming on. We're going to do some sort of online uh, thing. You can see it on Facebook, and if you go on social media at all, <laughs> it's hard to avoid the advertising that we've put up there. So you Nice. Put, that a boy. Um, <laughs> but the second album is, the new album is called no. um, Downstream. So. Downstream, I saw that and online. It was produced by uh, Nick Lagona, who Nick, another who? person who's not with us anymore. Yeah, what a great guy, too. Yeah. Uh, can we uh, show that picture? I think we skipped ahead a bit there, Mark, to um, Coots Paradise. Have you? Oh, uh, no. Um, tight Little Island. That's Tight Little we're Island. We're skipping That's ahead here. <laughs> you got ahead of me. Whoa. Here. Okay. Oh, Evil. whoa. You're okay, maybe not. That's, that's my son, Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> and that was a Coots, uh, sorry, it was a <laughs> Coots Paradise gig <laughs> at Super Crawl, which we played at in 2018. It's backstage. And I think the next one, uh, Mark, might be, no, sorry, okay, sorry. We had one, um, I, I lost it, I guess, but uh, and, uh, look at you with a mustache. Oh, uh, there it is. There, there we are. There That's we are. Coots Paradise. <coughs> Thank you, Mark. And uh, yeah, on the main stage at the uh, uh, Super Crawl, which was canceled this year, and that's yeah. another casualty, but um, that was great, and I would just jump in and quickly, uh, I'm, I'm talking a lot, but uh, Tight Little Island, there was a trio there. Back to Tight Little Island. Black and white. Oop, uh, the Westdale. <laughs> from, uh, the Gentleman. Uh, the Gentleman. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm making these guys uh, work tonight. I'm going on yeah, the, yeah. Uh, do, do back a bit more. more. One more. One more. One more. There, there, there we are. Okay. So that's Cam McLennan on the left, uh, Ruth Sutherland, the harpist, uh, in the middle, and myself with a with hair and a mustache. Yeah, look at you. Yeah. Gee, you look like Tom Selleck or something with that mustache. Whoa. <laughs> that's it, yeah. And Ruth uh, Sutherland um, will be here, uh, I think, in October. She's with the band called Scantily Plaid. That's right, yeah. Which we almost had them here for St. Patrick's Day. But if you recall, COVID shut us down about two days before that. We yeah. had to cancel that. Right. So we're definitely getting scantily plaid back. Cool. Um, yeah, so uh, we did skip through a few other bands. Um, can you, <coughs> s I, I wouldn't mind mentioning Tight Little Island. Did, oh, we did With that. That was Tight Little Island. There's some, um, okay, this is now Band from Heaven. Band from Heaven, yes. Which, uh, I see a couple of familiar faces there. Yeah, so. There's Yes. There's uh, Ron on the left playing his red accordion. Today he's got the black one. That's the one that's signed by Garth Hudson. I Garth believe. Hudson. Played Garth it. Hudson of the band. Um, cool. And then we have uh, Wayne there with a, a kind of a fishing hat on, so you can't really see him. Yeah. He was hiding that night, I think, or something. Uh, we were trying <laughs> to get away from the mosquitoes. Mm. And then there's me in the middle and uh, Mike Northcott, our bass player, uh, that sadly passed away a couple of years ago. Um, yeah, so moving right along. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was banned from heaven. And uh, Wayne, you were with us for, I don't know, three, four, five years. It was yeah, five, yeah. yeah f more like five, and I think, Mike. Yeah. And, and I think uh, I played with you before that a few times. So. Yeah, you sure did. And I should mention my son has... Uh, his his own band, Orbit, uh, he's Flat Five, and Monte Carlo. He has multiple bands, and he plays bass. Oh yeah. So uh, and <coughs> writes songs. So uh, yeah. Daniel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, uh, moving on to the new album, we've already seen the cover a couple of times, and there it is, "Love Hopped a Train." Yes. Title track. <laughs> I 
like that title. Yeah. And I, what's it all about? Um, <clears throat> that was written um, uh, with the thought that, uh, you know, things, and it certainly uh, applies right now, that uh, things get a little crazy sometimes, and it's almost like all, some days you wake up and, and it it's, uh, feels like all the good stuff is kind of uh, jumped on a train and headed somewhere else, you know, but of course that's that's not true. There's a lot of good stuff out there. It just seems like you have to look harder for it and uh, uh, we have to help each other out a lot more. So that's what the song is about. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's hear it. Okay. Love Hop the Train. Sucker punched the sky, left a bruise in this world and turning so much as limping along. Sometimes it feels like love topped the train and moved on. Knives and guns, crack cocaine. Some mama's baby isn't coming home again And this world ain't turning So much is limping along Sometimes it feels like Love off the train moved on In the great big tower stand Big money men Sexed up and quivering With thoughts of dividends And down on the street There's no one that they know Sometimes it feels like Love flagged a cab And said man go Love hop the train. Love hop the train. Feel 
like love hop to train Love hop to train Sometimes it feels like love hop to train Moved on Sometimes it feels like love hop to train Moved on Sometimes it feels like love hop to train Moved on like the train is pulling away, right? A little fade out there. Love Hop the Train. You want to get it on that CD? It's on Spotify. It is. This one is on Spotify, yes. And I was never on Spotify until you told me it was, so I signed up, and there it was. I'm a little behind the times. I'll admit it. Yeah, it's uh, also available for sale. I mean, if people message me, I can send them one. We can do it that way, too, if they want a hard copy. But it is, you know. Yeah, the, the hard copy is always better, I think. Kind of sticks with you forever. Yeah. Other than that other stuff on your computer, it can go up in the cloud. You never know where it's going to be. <laughs> True or that. Cloud, or what <coughs> cloud. Yeah. Uh, what about another one from, I know you got one more off that album, maybe a couple. Yeah. Um, uh, this is called uh, Dinner on Sunday, this one. What a nice thought that is. And uh, it you know, was... Uh, Sunday written, dinner. Yeah. And it was sort of written as a, um, <clears throat> a song to... Um, uh, advice, I guess, to... Uh, advice? My son, you know, saying, well, instead of going... Uh, so, yeah, that was the... the um, the basis for the song, and, and uh, I don't know if I ever actually said any of these things to him, but, you know, not in so many words, but in, in some ways I suppose I did. So, uh, yeah, that's what this is about, and it's sort of uh, trying to imitate a banjo, uh, the way I play this one. So, yeah, Dinner on Sunday. <laughs> Here we are and look at you All the things you want to do Hope that all your dreams come true The whole world is waiting I hope that you find happiness Wherever you go and never less and What you deserve, you deserve the best And I mean that sincerely I hope true love you come to know Kindness greets you wherever you go If hard times come, don't ever let go of faith in yourself May music always be your friend Be with you through thick and thin From beginning to end to beginning again I hope you're always whistling Follow your heart, but use your head Remember you get back what you give 
And if you marry, don't ever forget your anniversary. Don't forget. And I hope your luggage never gets lost. If you call heads, I hope it's tossed. I hope you get 10% off on your next purchase. Well, I don't know if it'll ever come true. All the things I wish for you, I can only hope they do. And can you come for dinner on Sunday? Can you come for dinner on Sunday? Sweet dinner on Sunday. Roast beef. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Well, we just got time for a couple more. Before we get there, though, what about uh, the future, Wayne? What's the future hold for a guy like you? Well, that's... You've got the, the new CD coming out with yeah. Coots Paradise. Coots Paradise, that's coming out. And uh, I have, I'm working on one right now. I've got about eight or nine songs in Whoa. various states of completion or uncompletion. And, uh, <laughs> Um, and these guys are, are both playing. They've done some playing on it already. Um, and uh, hopefully before the end of the year. And I'm, I'm working on a, a, another CD with uh, uh, Carol Green, who just is, is my partner. And, uh, Carol Green. Goes by CAGS. As her musical entity is CAGS. You know? And uh, so uh, doing some of her songs and... Um, and actually, both of the, these gentlemen have also played on that. So, uh, work. Work. so uh, <laughs> any work. Will yeah. Be. So it's it's great. It's nice to be able to um, go in the studio, and we're careful about how it's done. But uh, nice. very nice to get in there and, and play. And and uh, hopefully, Coots can uh, do some uh, live stuff at some point. That'd be really nice to do. So um, nice. yeah. here's hoping. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's good. It sounds like you're not uh, you're not letting up. If you got that many songs in the hopper, that's great. I'm proud of you, Wayne. Yeah, that's well, fantastic. Thank you, Michael. Yeah. All right. Um, we're gonna do a couple more, and I think we got to call it a night. But let's um, do the Trouble Mind one, maybe. Sure. Okay. Right. This is um, <clears throat> yeah. Just as the title's Troubled Mind, and that pretty much sums what, up what the song is about. Um, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I got one of those. <laughs> it's uh. <laughs> It's not an uncommon thing some mornings, some days these days, so uh, this is a song for, for anyone that uh, feels like that sometimes. And Bad news and sadness, too easy to find. They seem to fall like the rain and leave a troubled mind. Feeling lost and alone, wondering where to go. Feeling soaked to the bone with a troubled mind. A troubled mind. Trouble, I know there's more that we're meant to find with the trouble, mind. Trouble, mind. Gonna leave you for the light of a brand new day. There are things I have done Kept me on the run And I've paid for some With the troubled mind the Selfishness is a thief Who will steal away your peace Nothing will it leave But a troubled Troubled 
troubled mind, a troubled mind. But I know there's more that we're meant to find than a troubled mind, a troubled mind. I'm gonna leave you for the light of a brand new day. There's a promise I've heard On a sweet breeze born Of a deeper peace Like a bright clear morning Of a life to be lived Past sorrow and pain And no hold for a troubled mind Troubled mind, a troubled mind. I know there's more that we're meant to find than a troubled mind, a troubled mind. I'm gonna leave you for the light of a brand new day. Gonna leave you. The light of a brand new day. Gonna leave you for the light of a brand new day. So nice, so nice. Sweet. Wayne Krawchuk, folks. Uh, nice. Hope you've enjoyed it. We're gonna have to bail out just about now. We're going to do one more song, but I want to say thanks, first of all, to um, Marie Phillips and her company, uh, which is called Next Steps Planning and IPC Securities. want to thank Michael here for shooting us on the camera, Michael Peeling, and we got hey. Dave Plant on the sound back there. Yes. Mark Scola, our video tech, Rob McCann from Clear Cable, Neil Miller, the marketing guru of the Westdale and uh, Dan Fournier, theater manager. So thanks to everyone that's helped us out tonight, and thanks to you folks for watching. Um, as I, I just like to remind you, if you can make a donation before you shut her down, uh, we'd sure appreciate it. Um, we could use all the help we can get around here. Yes. Uh, next week, we've got Steve Strongman. Uh, next Monday, Steve Strongman, blues player extraordinaire. What an entertainer he is. He's, oh, oh, wonderful. Wonderful. He's, He's just got so much energy, you're going to have to take a pill after you watch <laughs> him and go to bed or something. But uh, And then the week after that, we got the next Steve, Steve Smith, also known oh. as Red Green. Wow, great. <laughs> Red Green coming up uh, in September. We've got Boris Broad on the 14th, Ian Thomas on the 21st, and the wonderful guitarist Rick Emmett on the 28th of September. Wow. So wow. don't miss uh, September shows. We're going to finish up with one last song okay. from, uh, from Wayne that's actually bilingual. Yeah, apologies to anybody sure. that actually is a French speaker out there because uh, I have a little bit of French in this song, my high school French, coming yep. in handy here. So. Grade 9 French. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is called Allons-y. Which one, means, let's go. Let's go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Well, come on, baby, what the heck? Let's grab our things, go to Quebec. Find a little place in Montreal. Get to know the separatists down the hall. I bet they're really not that bad. I bet they love their moms and dads Just a little fun we all need to have We could throw a party Allons-y, 
fell on the sea. Hey, little darling, dance with me. Say a tray of fascia, baby, one, two, three. L O Z, L O Z. I'm on a Girard, he's a Cadian. Quebec War, Canadian. Every Saturday night he plays guitar down on Rue Saint Denis at JoJo's bar. You could get a job there as a bartender. I could work in the garage fixing car fenders. We can practice our French in the meantime, dear. Lock the front door, come over here. Allons-y, allons-y. Hey, little darling, dance with me. Say it real fast, you baby. One, two, three. Allons-y. Come on, baby, what the heck? Let's grab our things, go to Quebec. We don't have to go to stay. We could have ourselves a little holiday. They got the joie de vie. They say the bienvenu. You'll be the bon vivant. I'll be all I pray vous. It's a, a bon ton, baby, voulez-vous? Si vous play, merci beaucoup. Allons y allons y Hey, little darling, dance with me. Say it three fast, you baby. One, two, three. L O Z, L O Z, L O Z, L O Z. Hey, little darling, dance with me. Say it three fast, you baby. One, two, three. L O Z, L O Z, L O Z, L O Z. Wayne Krawchuk, hope to see you all next week on Hamilton Original. Thanks for joining us, folks. See you all later. Good night. Woohoo. Oh, let's play some more.